that's enough to uh, donate some glass panels for us to shoot. And we have two glass panels here today. One is for a smaller caliber gun, like a little pistol, like a 9mm, and the other piece of glass is for a larger caliber rifle, like the one I used in my bump stock video, the AR-15. So it really just depends on how much protection you want for your vehicle. This is the 9mm that we'll be shooting at the glass, and this is the thinner pane. And then over here we have the AR-15 with the bump stock attached. We're just going to be shooting single rounds today, though. You can see the larger caliber here, and how thick the pane of glass is compared to the lower caliber. But really, all of this stuff is completely customizable. Like the President's Motorcade here in the United States uses about double this thickness of glass inside. It really just depends on how much protection you want, and how much you're willing to spend. As far as weight goes, when they're bulletproofing a car with a smaller caliber, you know, bulletproofing it for a handgun, it usually adds anywhere from, you know, 400 to 500 pounds, give or take the protection you want. But if you're going to fully rifle-proof your car, you can add anywhere from 500 all the way up to maybe 12 or 1300. Your gas mileage might go down slightly, but sometimes that's a good trade-off for the protection it offers. So gun ranges are actually pretty cool. So right here, we have different slots. Gun safety is a pretty big thing when you're at a gun range. Each of these little cubicles keep, the, you know, the bullets that eject out of the gun, keep it from hitting your neighbor. And then as we walk down range, right now it's safe because there's no one else shooting in here. This is one of the pieces of glass that we're gonna be shooting at. So we have it propped up. We have some of these little green targets right here, just so we have something to aim at while we're shooting. And then we also have one little melon right behind it. So if the bullet goes through the bulletproof glass, which it shouldn't, we'll know for sure. Now down here at the end of the range is something that not a lot of people see. This is what directs the bullets into this channel down here at the end so that they can recycle all of those bullet tips because there's a lot of metal in a bullet and it's always good to recycle. So you can see here, all these little markings are little bullets that have hit this metal panel right here and then ricocheted up there into that little slot so they can collect them and recycle them. All right, so we're gonna start with the nine millimeter handgun first. We're gonna shoot that pane of glass right down there. Let's do it. That looks sweet. Let's go take a closer look. Check this out. Oh man, that's so cool. You can see the impact point right here. You can see like a little bit of remnants of like the metal on the tip of the bullet. And then it just like absorbed the impact and fractured all the way around this outside. So here on the backside, it's still 100% completely smooth. My fingers aren't catching on any of like the glass layers on the back of this. If you were sitting inside of this car window, you would still be totally fine. Now, these layers of bulletproof glass are actually layers of glass and plastic stuck together. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of penetration we can get when we start shooting the rifle on the AR-15. But half an inch stopping a bullet, that's pretty impressive. So we have the camera set up and our safety gear on. We're gonna shoot that same piece of glass a couple more times with the nine millimeter and see how well it hands up to multiple shots. All right, so safety gear is on. I imagine if you're being shot at inside of a car, it's not just gonna be one bullet, there's gonna be multiple. So I'm gonna empty this full magazine into the glass and see what happens. You ready? Sweet, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> okay, so check this out. It looks like I hit this part multiple times. I think there was an impact point here, 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 and here. As the outside structure of the glass is compromised, it removes the outer layer, but the inner layers are still fine. So you can see like this divot right here. If the glass is an inch thick, this probably removed about half an inch of that, but it still survived. I mean, how many shots was that, like six? And so if we go back here to the back of the glass, you know, feeling the back of it, I can, there's not, there's nothing catching on my hand, but as I move my hand over this, I can feel like a slight indention, and I imagine that's like the plastic layer bulging out just a tiny bit. Um, ah, yeah, be careful, I just did that. Got a glass in my finger. All right, so we're not gonna touch the glass anymore, but when the bullet hits, there's so much energy in that bullet, it impacts the glass, obviously, and the glass distributes the impact over the whole thing. So not everything you see in Hollywood is truthful, because if a bullet hits a car, it's gonna shatter the exterior layer of the ballistic glass, at least. All right, so we have a new glass in place, and this one is an inch and a half thick, so it's gonna do the AR-15, the higher caliber bullet, and uh, we'll see if that melon survives. All right, so the safety is now off, and full disclosure, I have not sighted this gun, so if I miss this first shot, 